Festival, our annual Kiwanis Memorial Day Festival. What a glorious day to be here. The parade is just coming down the hill. I hope they stop traffic here sometime. Um, they're just getting ready to start. The Memorial Park event is over. And uh, the parade will be down shortly. First of all, I want to say thanks to the Kiwanis Club and our president, Sherry Lucia, for uh, doing such a great job putting this festival together. We've got a great parade today. A lot of uh, exhibits coming down through. It's going to be a nice parade. What a great day. Hackett's Field is going to be loaded. Uh, a lot of activities going down there. We'll touch on them in a little while. I want to say thanks to Larry and Lise Hamill for opening up the Centennial House for us and putting this broadcast here on HCTV for the parade. And uh, the camera's pointing up the street, so don't do anything that you might not want to see on camera because you will be recorded. Um, by the way, it is Lise Hamill's birthday today, so if you see her, wish her happy birthday. I'm not going to say how old she is, but just the fact that I'm younger than she is. So you can take that for what it's worth. We're also being broadcast live by WLBB Radio out of Morseville. Tom McLeod is sitting down below me, and he'll be broadcasting on the radio. We have uh, three Grand Marshals this year. Of course, our, our theme is um, seniors are the foundation for our community. And the three Grand Marshals are Ann Batten, Andy Messier, and Ron Sandville. All three of them were tremendous contributors to this community. Did a lot of uh, charity work. They've been Kiwanis members for like ever. And you'll see them in just a minute. Now right after the parade down to Atkins Field, I'll go over a couple of events. At 11.30, the Cal Plot Bingo begins. At 11.30 p.m., Hardwick Trails and Adaptive Sports Partners, their presentations begin on Grand Street. And then at noon, the Cornhole Tournament begins. At 12.30 p.m., the pie eating contest will be in the pavilion. And from 12.30 to 2, something new this year, I think, is a chili cook-off, and that should be fun. And then at 1 p.m., there's going to be a pet parade that begins on Granite Street. Also at 1 p.m., the Duncan booth begins on Atkins Field, right near the Midway. 1.30, there's a stick horse derby. There's guessing jars. Oh, we have the human truck pole on Granite Street. I know there's at least two or three teams. And then, of course, at 4 p.m., up at the ball field behind elementary school, the Tristan Southworth Memorial Little League game. And they're going to be honoring the four seniors on this year's baseball team. And uh, it'll be the kickoff for the Little League season. Okay, jumping across the bridge right now is the first rescue squad. Hydric rescue squad. Everybody knows them. what you do for us. Personally, I love what you do. I appreciate what you do, but I hope never to see you. Followed by the Honor Guard from the Legion.
operated by Landon and Thompson. Great store up there in Greensboro Bend. They do a lot for the community, sport a lot of activity.
Little League will kick off their season with the Tristan Southworth Memorial game up behind the field, up behind the elementary school at the ball field. And if you need duck dive tickets, they're on sale down at Atkins Field. Thank you, everybody.